Okay. Hi, my name is Nelly and I'm the Kenyan girl doing stories on sustainable development goals, real estate and DIY. Welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about two things. Today we're going to be talking about two things. Okay, first it's about the car free day in Nairobi that we're supposedly having in Nairobi today. The second thing is I'm going to be telling you several facts about me that could be weird or just ordinary. Okay, let's get to it. Every September on the 22nd or around the 22nd of, of um, September every year, people usually have, countries or states usually have a car free day where people ditch their cars and walk to work or they walk to work or they cycle to work. Yeah. Uh, I think that is what we're trying to have here in Nairobi, but I'm not sure if, I'm not sure we are ready. And here are my two reasons why I, I, honestly, I honestly don't think that we are ready to have that. For a country to get to that level, usually they have bicycle lanes and passenger walk paths that make it easier to graduate to that, to that level. Now in Kenya, we don't have any definite, well, we do have, we do have bicycle lanes in a few places, but they are not definite or they just suddenly end and you're supposed to join the main motor car um, traffic at some point so we ditch the cars and then get how to work again which means it's kind of there is no infrastructure in place for us to make that shift to celebrate car free day uh, like most states yeah the second thing is i'm just going to give an example we just I, the second thing is i feel like we just cannot uh, go like boom okay today we are not, we're going to have a Friday where we don't come in with cars into the CBD I think we just need to be wind up it's a very very bold measure to try and cut on air pollution and, and obviously try to achieve sustainable development goal um, number 11 I think sustainable cities but I think for you know this goals are made for humans not for cars we have to think of how human behavior is and how we can adjust slowly make that shift. Yeah, we need to be wind off. I'm going to give you an example of uh, my favorite kind of winning off that I've, I've ever read about. In Colombia, some time back, in Colombia, the traffic was so bad that they decided that um, in a weekend, say on Saturday, only cars with even numbers could come into town. That forced people to carpool, to share cars, come into town, reduce congestion and in turn air pollution. And on Sunday, the cars with the odd numbers would come into town. Again, sharing, which means there was reduced pollution and there was reduced traffic. And suddenly, I think a healthier lifestyle. But for that to work here, I think we have to. But we know attach a kusema vile. Um, we could have missed me a commission in Nikipa. Consaka Gagari, Nangetu Kagari from Tananza Kusema. Egaru no jutuki doki dogi vi, Ingio Kamatopia Tata Toka. Akanikans, Akanika mosquito. Now that day for carpooling, you'll sit in and zip your laser mouth because that's the only option that we have. Oh, that's the only option that you have. Um, that those are my two cents about the car, the car free day that we are having today. Yeah, first, I don't think we have the best infrastructure to move, no walk paths, no bicycle lanes, at least they're not definite, they're not definite. And uh, third, I think we could just slowly win off, start with reducing the number of cars that come in. Yeah, and then we slowly make the shift opinion but i think it's a very 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 bold venture and i'm so glad that that um my country is moving towards that direction where we are we are aware on um how to make the cities sustainable okay now to the second part which is maybe not i, I made a list but i hope that this is a test you know the the car free day that we are having today i hope it's a test to see how how it would pan out like what infrastructure or policies need to be put into place in order to make that shift several things that makes nelly nelly okay tower 
Number one, I used to be one of those kids in school where, say, you know, those subjects where you have to cram so many, many things like history. I used to be one of those that make a song. Like, this is how I used to remember countries that belong to Komesa. It's by a song, so this is the song. Burundi, Comoros, Ethiopia, Djibouti, Kenya, Lesotho, Malawi, Maui, Rwanda, na 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 na. Yeah, that's how I used to. That's how I used to remember um, countries that belong to Comesa. Okay, number two. I have never driven an automatic car. Every car that I've driven is a stick shift. In fact, every time I drive an automatic car. I press the brake thinking that I am pushing in the clutch to change my gear. So I need to work on that this year. Number three, I am a middle child. I come from a family of six and I'm the third child. We have five girls and one boy. Number five, I'm a mother. I have four children, two stepdaughters and one boy. And the other one is my youngest girl. Six. I started working as a producer, as a, as a TV producer when I was 19 years old. Oh, fact number seven. I don't like Christmas. I just, I feel like sometimes it's just an excuse to shop and to feel this pressure that you have to behave this way. Fact number eight. I do not like flowers. In fact, I didn't even have flowers on my wedding. I had a bouquet of shells, which actually I should return to where they belonged, where I got them. Fact number nine. Fact number nine. My favorite song. My favorite song is Bohemian Rhapsody, Queen. Fact number ten. I'm a rubbish. Fact number ten. I'm rubbish at makeup. So this whole thing, I struggled. I really struggled a lot to do this. And it's not even perfect. But anyway, you get the point. I've just learned how to do lipstick and I'm very proud of myself. Fact number 11. Fact number 11. I used to write poems for money when I was in college. I cannot sing. Fact number 12. I cannot sing to save my life at all. I go, sometimes I go to open mic and I wonder how can everybody be so blessed with such singing prowess and i have 0.0.01 singing prowess <laughs> anyway that's um another discussion for another day fact number 13 i think when i was in school well both primary school and high school i used to be very very good at public speaking and i loved it so much i loved it so much that at some point during my kcs no 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 in my form four, in my fourth year in high school, I remember skipping the biology mock exam to go perform, to go do some public speaking in some music festival. Yes, it was that bad. Or oh, oh good, whichever way you look at it. Fact number 14, I can fly a drone. I know how to fly two types of drone. I can fly a Mavic. And I can fly a phantom for pretty much the same thing. I can fly a drone. And I can't wait to get licensed to do it more uh, professionally. I want to incorporate all these cute little things to make our production and our videos really cute and very entertaining and just good quality content for you guys. My favorite food is Gideri. Which, which, um, which number are we? I even lost count. I think 14. My favorite food is gideri or beans, brown beans. Those ones. Uh -huh. You know, when I was pregnant, there times I could go into restaurants and um, those, rest the, those restaurants where you ask for gideri and they look at you like, I think you're misplaced. Okay, sour. Oh, oh, fact number 15. I can shake my ears without holding them. Let me show you. Did you see? Yep, creepy. 
Okay, fact number 16, I think. When I'm really, really nervous and I don't know what to do, and I'm supposed to speak, I twang. I mean, you can comprehend what I'm saying, but I twang. I, I speak like I've just landed from the States or... Um, I just twang. It's how I fight fear. I mean, it's not easy to be in front of the camera. Actually, my most preferred position is... But anyway, somebody has to do stories on SDGs. So I take the challenge. Okay, my other... Okay, now which, which number are we? I think 17. Let me, let me tell you something about pregnancy. It messes you up, you know, memory-wise. Sometimes I just stand in front of the fridge and, and think, what was I looking for? Like now I've forgotten which number it was, but I think it's between 16 and 17. So let's work with 17, okay? Okay, so number 17. I love, you know when you just cook to gully, the crusty part under there? Yes, I love those. I think somebody should just package those and sell them in, in, in supermarkets. In case we call them Mama Goko. I love those. I love, I would have that with tea. Oh, I've put butter on those sometimes and they're really good. Or you can make a guacamole, which is basically avocado and then you twist it, twist it, you add madoido, madoido. Now, if you take that crusty part of ugali and dip in guacamole, okay, my dear, I can't even, you, have, you just have to try. Some things you just have to experience. I cannot, I cannot explain uh, very well how awesome that is. Okay, number... Um, 18 yes i'm trying to really reduce my carbon footprint and um, i'm trying to be aware of the environment i'm trying to to be aware of the damage that i'm causing or i'm trying to be aware on how i can help earth I'm, and and one way that i'm doing that is trying to shift to cruelty free makeup so my current two favorite brands are um, rituals obsessed and the second one is Honest Beauty. My favorite color, I love, generally I love color. Um, I think in 2009 I used to paint my nails uh, in different colors or sometimes two with different colors. But I've always loved yellow. Really, I've always loved yellow. Another thing that I used to love so much in 2009 was big hair. Oh my God, I used to love big hair so much growing up i've always been told that my forehead is really really big and i've always wanted to hide it so i would go into the salon remove the wig i had no remove the weave i had or braids and put another one there and then i don't walk in the street with the, my forehead exposed no 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 you cannot expose big foreheads because people say that i had to stitch to keep it in there intact just for me Okay, Sawa, thank you for watching and please subscribe if you have not already subscribed. Thank you so much for tuning in and bye.